Black at 650 Gaming here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 7. So they recently released another DLC. I don't know what it was called, but the title will say. Probably. Uh, so this is one of the cars that they had. They added a bunch of cars. Shocking. But uh, I hate that I like this car. I really hate that I like this car. So this is the Kia Stinger. And I try my best to hate everything about Kia. I don't entirely know why. It mostly starts with the Kia Soul and... <sighs> fucking hamsters. But anyway. So this car actually is, like, really freaking good on this game for some reason, unfortunately. Uh, so let's go to something that's less annoyingly nice. Well, and these are still good. So they got... The 2018 Dodge Durango SRT. So let's take a look at that real quick. It's a lot easier to do these on uh, Horizons than it is on Motorsport. But, uh, yeah. We've got the 6.4 liter Hemi. And six rows of seating. I feel like I'm supposed to be advertising this for some reason, but... I'm really not. Okay, so that's another car they added. Let's check out the other things. Um, one that a lot of people are probably very happy is in here now. Bugatti Chiron. Chiron, Church, whatever on this thing. And I have, I have driven this. I've driven all of them so far. All the ones that I took the time to actually get. And damn, this thing is freaking ridiculous. But before we drive it, we'll go to the other things. Um... Basically, the four that I'm going to show you real quick are the ones I'm in I was most interested in and happy to see. Finally, another Ram, so we don't have just the stupid-ass Ram Runner. 2500 Power Wagon. This car, or car, this truck is completely pointless in this game. However, still freaking badass. Again, 6.4 liter Hemi. Uh, this time with the airbox on the other side. And, uh, yeah. Power Wagon. It's really cool to see a power wagon in this game. Oh, I didn't even realize it had those that you can't watch open, apparently. Oh. It wasn't the Ram box. It was the tonneau cover. Okay. Well, anyway. So there's that. So those are the ones I was most interested in. There are a few more, though. There's this 2017 number 7 Aston Martin Racing V12 Vantage GT3. Pretty cool looking car. Not real interested in it though. 2016 Audi number 17 Rotec Racing TTRS. Um, that may have been from a different one. That's from a different one. Yeah, those are from a different one. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is new or not. So we'll talk about it anyway. 2017 BMW number 24 BMW Team RLL M6 GTLM. Again, might not be from the latest DLC. But, why don't we take a look at the Chiron real quick. Oh, again. So like I said, I have driven it, and... Damn. Why don't we take it to... Um, what do we call it? Le Mans. Or Le Mans, I don't know. I'm not French, I don't know how you're supposed to say it. Uh, it's around here somewhere. 24 hour Le Mans. Le Mans. We want to go with the old ones because it doesn't have the chains in it. We're only going to do one lap. And it's not. Whoa. Ah, shit. One lap with nobody else in the day. So they also released a new update along with the DLC. So you can now access Driver Grid. I don't know what it does because, like I said, well, not like I said, like I'm going to say, I haven't played uh, the game with any other cars on the track lately since the latest update. So, yeah. Alright. Let's do this. I've not modified this car at all. But, uh... I, I don't know how much you can, really. Hey, let's look at the FPS on the screen, too, apparently. So it sounds pretty badass. And, uh... Well, there goes 100. Ugh. So you can't get the full, um, full usage of the wing, the air brake, since I don't have ABS. So we'll turn ABS, we'll turn all this crap on, because why not, right? 
Uh, I usually I drive these without anything on because I'm a real man. Not really. I get paid more that way. In the game, that is. But uh, this is one of those cars that's meant to be driven with traction control and an ABS and all that stuff. I mean, obviously ABS. Without ABS, you can stop quicker. But when you add it in an air brake, it kind of negates that whole thing. Except for how you can you can see that the ABS was affecting the wing as well. All right, cool. So that's pointless. Whatever. So let's just go. So there's 170. I don't actually know how fast this will go. There's 200. 220. 230. It's still going at a decent rate, too. 50. Holy shit. 260. 65. Jeez. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, no. Oh dear. That's unfortunate. Let's see. 1400 uh, horsepower though. Somehow that didn't take any damage. I have that on though, right? Yeah, simulation, damage, fuel, tire wear, blah blah blah. But it's completely fine. Somehow. Honestly, it turns not real well. I mean, it's still badass and is ridiculous, but when it comes to turning, it's really not that great. But part of that might simply be because I'm going so ridiculously fast. Oh boy. Oh, I forgot I have ABS on. I can mash the brake pedal without much consequence. Damn. So yeah, this thing is a little bit ridiculous. Why don't we take it to a drag track after this? We'll do a mile drag race. With... Oh, we can throw in some other people. Why not, right? Let me finish this first. There's 200 again. 205. Oh... Yeah, this doesn't handle real... Actually, it handles terribly. Oh, that was close to me. Very expensive. For as badass of a car as it is, it really handles terribly. I don't know what tires it has on. I haven't... Like I said, I haven't upgraded it at all. I haven't changed anything. I've just driven it, and was very freaked out by it because I don't even remember what we hit. Was it, it was like 270. And that is a really big number. I took it around the Nürburgring but that didn't end well because I didn't have anything on at the time, like trying to control and whatnot. I had that all off. So it was a terrible time. Uh, but I still went ridiculously fast on the uh, straight. Don't remember how fast I went but it, yeah. Terrifying. Kind of cut that corner a lot, but whatever. Jesus, that thing is ridiculous. Four minutes and 23 seconds around the uh, uh, Le Mans. Le Mans. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, and today I'm recording with the Windows game recorder thing because uh, uh, the other thing is not listening. It's not working right today. So, yeah. See how much I got for that. Damn. I wish I could drive around tracks and get paid for it. Just on my own, nobody else on the track. Sounds like fun. Even though I did just, I would have just heavily died. But, uh, minor details. Alright, uh, we want to do drag race. Oop, 
right there. Uh, this one has the mile. We'll do an eight car mile drag race with seven other cars. Okay, let's go. All right. So I don't know what's on the announcements. So, okay, it's done. That was weird. Whatever. So let's see how horribly this goes. I also want to see if drag racing has been made actually somewhat decent. Is that an F50 next to me? Nope. Still can't do anything. Damn. 170, 180, 190. Just 200. Damn. Oh, it's over. 22 seconds. It took me 22 seconds. Are, are, you, are you good? 22 seconds to do a mile. One mile in 22 seconds. You can do the math on that as far as speed, just miles per hour. So, if you do 20, if you do one mile in 22 seconds, then you gotta do some math and some calculations that I can't do in my head because it's 8.22 p.m. and I did a lot of work today. I've been, I finally finished my project I was working on for my steering wheel. And I did some extra stuff to it, and it's badass. I'll, uh, I'll put it in the unboxing video of the Fnatic pedals when I get them eventually. They're supposed to be shipping on the 20th. It's tomorrow. Tuesday. Something just vanished into the ground over there. Seriously, this game is an early access game in disguise. Let's do this. I can't... Can't do anything now. Why are you allowed to do things? You, just, you can't stage your car at all. How fast does this do a quarter mile? 9.554 seconds. Jeez, that's ridiculous. Damn. Everybody else did 11s and 12s. 9.554. See, here's the issue, though. The Dodge Demon is supposed to be able to do a 9.6. Stock. Well, on racing fuel, anyway. And that did a 9.5. If you round it, it's actually 9.4. Or 6. I fucking... I'm thinking of the last number, and it fucked with my brain. And you only get, only get 300 credits for that. I also didn't see who won. I wasn't paying attention. I think it was me that actually won. But the drag races don't make any sense in this game, but that's a rant for another video. Um, real quick, I want to talk about the fucking Kia Stinger. I went past K. Don't worry about it. It's over there. Okay. Did we ever talk about the Trackhawk? I don't know if I did a video on that. I think I did. Oh, whatever. There's a Trackhawk in the game. 707 horsepower, in this case 719, I don't know why. Okay, let's okay, if I can work. So, 380 horsepower, I, I did a little bit of stuff to this. Rear wheel drive, V6, twin turbo. Pretty basic stuff, really. 380 is a... Meh. <laughs> it's a decent amount of time, actually, why don't we do set it to drift. Uh, give me five. Oop, five minutes to drift around. Um, that's a good track for drifting in five minutes. Mm, let's go with this one. All right. So, like I said, I don't like that I like this car. I don't like Kia. I think they're unpleasant, annoying, and they're fucking hamsters. <sighs> But then I did this thing, and it's like, oh, I would totally drive one of those. However, I'd oh, microphone. I would only do. I would only drive it if it were a stick. If I could get it as an actual manual proper stick, I'd be extremely interested. But as far as I know, you can only get it automatic slash flappy paddles. 
And unless it's like Ferrari style floppy paddles, it's fucking stupid. I don't know why those lights didn't change at all, but okay. But uh, let me demonstrate real quick why. Oh, can't drift if I have fucking. Oops. ABS and traction control, all that shit on. Well, I mean, ABS doesn't really make a difference, but uh, the rest of it does. Uh, you, off, off. Okay. Warm up the front tires a bit. That was a terrible drift. There we go. And when it's stock, it it's like... Whatever, man. I'll drift. I don't care. Oh, I overdid it that time. What is happening over there? Oh, God. What is happening? I don't think it'll show up on here unless I'm moving. Not even moving. What the hell, game? Oh, early access. I'm telling you. There we go. So if you don't overdo the drift, it doesn't snap back. The front of it doesn't snap like a lot of cars tend to in this game. I mean, it kind of does. It's right on the brink of being real snappy. God damn it. I don't remember what that's called. It's like snap over steer or something like that or something. I don't know. A lot of cars do that in this game. Why? Whoa. Ah, shit. Fucking peeking my microphone, so I'm gonna back away from my computer now. Oh, actually, never mind. All right. Oh, the dude's glitching the fuck out in the background there. I swear this car is actually really good at drifting. I'm the one who's bad. Okay. Really wish smoke showed up in the mirrors. Come on, Microsoft. There we go. It's not a super fast car, which is partially why it's decent at drifting. But damn, I don't... It's just weird how it drifts as well as it does. God damn it! Yeah, as long as you don't fuck it up. Ooh. I don't know why I can't drift worth shit today. I mean, not that I'm any good usually, but... I mean, usually I'm better than this. I mean, it doesn't sound half bad either, considering it's a V6. The turbo's a bit louder than it actually would be, since, as to, oh, as I've said, I did upgrade this one a little bit. See, it's seriously not bad, a driftage. So we've completed a lap at this thing, point, I think. Maybe not. I don't actually know where the finish line is. Or start line, I suppose. Oh, uh, no, we didn't, because it had a big board with things on it. Hey, triple sevens. Am I weird for being more interested in the fucking Kia Stinger and the Power Wagon and the Durango? Be more interested in those than I am the uh, actual race cars? Fucking hell. I really don't like that I like this car. Because it's a fucking Kia. I mean, I don't have anything against... Korea, really. I mean, North Korea is kind of fucked up at this point, but that's no, that's old news at this point. But, I mean, a Korean car, they just sort of, like, appeared, like, hey, check out our Korean-made cars. Like, but, why? I mean, they're, they're the noobs, in my opinion. Anyway. I mean, granted, this is their, like, it's like their first proper sporty car, and they didn't do a bad job. At least not styling-wise. And I mean, for it's a sports car, so the V6 twin turbo makes sense. 
Looking at you, my fucking Ford Mustang. Goddamn EcoBoost. Granted, they still have the 5.0, but fucking really? They put their damn EcoBoost in everything. And as much as I... I... I don't know. I really, I still wish they hadn't put their stupid ass EcoBoost in the fucking Ford GT. Put it in the race, race one, sure, the race four GT, that's fine, because that's the super uber mega tuned version of the engine. But in the road version, come on, put a V8 in it. It's, I mean, oh, uh, five minutes is up. All right, that was terrifying. Like, seriously. If you're gonna make something that's supposed to live up to the GT40, which was very much a massive 7 liter V8, or yeah, if it's for some reason it sound right, you gotta put a V8 in your GT. It's been a V8 from the start, well maybe not the very beginning, but I mean, like, I know this is supposed to be on the newest DLC, but now I'm going off on a tangent, which I do often. I mean, okay, so let's go all the way down. Here we go, GT40, Mark II Le Mans, with my custom did skin. I did this. I, I, I did this. There myself. Alright. We can, as we can almost kind of see, sort of. You can kind of see it by the intake manifold. There's four lumps that go to the shiny chrome header there. And it's the same on the other side, which means this is a V8 naturally aspirated V8. It could have had the thing come up that said, it's a V8, several, blah, 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 but that takes too long. Right, whoa, what the hell is happening? All right, cool. I mean, at least that's actually GT, but like, seriously, fucking game. Anyway, here's the, I think it was 2005, I don't remember. This thing, it's a freaking supercharged V8. Like, Damn! That one is based off the Monkey Wrench, uh, that, the one in the Monkey Wrench show, whatever they're called. Brain, function, uh, I don't remember what it's called. Not Monkey Wrench, Gas Monkey Garage. Monkey Wrench is a local thing. And then, uh, you failed. And I gotta, fucking gotta load it without the fucking thing on. Can't even see the engine in there, it's so small. It's their dumbass EcoBoost. Well, anyway, that's enough ranting about Ford. And that was the latest DLC that is called, um, Dell. Oh, Dell. It was the Dell, unfortunately, Dell Forza Motorsport 7 car back. What is this? That was the Doritos. Doritos, Totinos, Dell, Samsung QLED TV. Uh, Fate of the Furious, uh, 2019, Hyundai Veloster N and Turbo. Uh, they did some new paints for this, I guess. That's free, though. I like how none of the Dodge stuff is on here, but, you know, whatever. Was the BMW one of these? Uh, no. No, it wasn't. Oh, I didn't look at the Holden Murano. I forgot about it. Clearly, it's not that just, not that interesting. Well, anyway, that is going to do for this video. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you didn't, don't leave a like. I'll see you in the next video.